Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. I'm also the owner of It's So Emma Patterns, and we publish all of Lori Holt's stitch card sets for cross stitch. She's up to set F. Every set comes with four patterns in full color. And now I'm gonna show you how you can take your stitch cards, finish them, and you can interchange them each quarter for a different style. So let's get started. Here's some general supplies that we're gonna be using today. We are gonna use a nine by 12 sticky board, and if you're gonna do all four, you'll need two of these. We're gonna use a Kimberly's Cut rotating mat, cross stitch finishing tape, a marking tool. Of course, we had to stitch our design. We stitched with stitch card set D, and we stitched it using the called for DMC on 25 count barley. We've got a scrap of fabric, a ruler, and a scrap of batting. So that's all you need. A lot of you guys might already have this in your sewing room, and this is what we will be making today is this. My first step is taking my stitched piece, and we're gonna draw a line a quarter inch away from our design on the front and the back, and you will see why we're doing that in a little bit. So I will take a Creative Grids ruler, and on the Creative Grids ruler, they have a really nice dotted line that's easy to see. You just put that right up next to your stitching and draw a line. I'm using a friction pen today and the ink will disappear with the heat from an iron later. I'm doing the same thing on the back. So I'm gonna measure my square and it comes out right about three inches. So I've gone ahead and cut sticky board three inches. So this is cut. On the back side, this is your sticky side. You're gonna peel this off. Get your batting, place it on your batting and cut around. Now I'm gonna trim outside of the drawn line about one inch. You can leave um, as much or as little as you feel comfortable with, but I think one inch is plenty to pull on the back. And then I'm going to take the sticky board that has batting on it, place the batting right side down within the lines that we drew. Then I'm going to take it's so I'm a finishing tape, place it down. I'm going to put some tape on the top and the bottom. It is double sided. And you can see on these scissors that I'm using, these are scissors that I use with sticky tape because they have the ribbon on it. That way I don't use them with fabric later and get them ruined. So I will remove the tape. Okay. 
So again, batting face down. You're gonna do just the top and bottom. So I'll pull the top and pull the bottom. Look at the front and make sure it looks good. And I'm gonna kind of count the squares down and up and see if it's even. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, It looks actually even. So I've done the top and the bottom, and when you turn it over, my line that I drew around is right at the same spot on both. So we've got it centered on the front and the back. We're gonna turn to the back and add sticky tape on the two sides. Okay, I'm going to fold these over and when I'm folding I'm going to kind of keep this out of the way. I'm just going to stick down that part and I will show you what to do with the little edges in a little bit. And my lines around show that it is centered so what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna just kind of open these back up and poke them down on that tape. And if you pull, it will make the corner. I want the corner to be a little bit want it to look nice on the front so you can just finagle it and that sticky tape is great because you can pick it up and move it so I'm going to do each corner individually and that one looks really nice so on the back I'm just going to tape this down It'll just keep it in place a little bit, and then if you just don't take the sticky part off, it'll be fine. So you just kind of pull, and that's how I do the corners, is just kind of look on the front, pull, and then just tape this down on the back. And then we're going to move to the fabric board that goes behind this piece. The frame that we bought is used to hold four by six photos, so we decided to use a sticky board and cut it down to four by six. On this one, we're not gonna add batting, we're just going to do fabric with no batting in between. So you will just turn your fabric over place it down and we just used a scrap of fabric that we had so any kind of scrap and we're going to cut about an inch around We're going to do the same thing and just put finishing tape by It's So Emma on the back. And this one will be a little bit easier because the fabric is not as thick as cross stitch cloth and you don't have the batting so the corners will be easier.
and on the front it looks nice. So we're gonna do the same thing on the sides with the finishing tape. And this one, I'm gonna do the same thing where I kind of just don't do the corners yet. And then just do the corners one by one. Everyone does their corners a little bit different, so whatever works for you is good. We just want it to be nice and tight and on the edge. This is what um, we have done some trial and error and I used to do them different and this seems to work a little bit better and it goes faster so And this is how I'm gonna leave the back because nobody's gonna look at the back of my piece. If you want this to be pretty, you can do another sticky board that's slightly smaller and put it on top and put it together with finishing tape. Um, but we don't think anybody's gonna look at the back of ours, so we're not gonna finish the back pretty. We're just gonna leave it just like this. Nobody's gonna see it but you. So we had the lines with the friction pin and we just went to the iron and just ironed it a little bit and all those lines came off. Now we will take the sticky tape off. Okay, so now when you put this on the board, you can either eyeball it or center it. And if you take half inch from one side, I've done the math already, half inch from one side, and one and a half from the other side, it will center. So I'm gonna just put two rulers and push this down and it's centered. And you can see it's not gonna come off and you just clip this right on your frame. So finishing Lori's stitch cards was just as easy as that. Just pop this on, you can center it and you can change this out for all the seasons and you can just have a little decor for Lori Holt stitch cards. Make sure to pick them up at Back Quarter Shop and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.